In this video, we're going to go through the process of onboarding a bulk set of remote networks. There are some specific things you need to do during this process, and onboarding bulk remote networks does a bunch of configuration that might not be obvious at the outset. So, in order to onboard my remote networks, the first thing that I would probably do is configure a single remote network, okay, where I have filled in these various fields. The reason I'm going to do that is that I would then select this and choose export to pull this configuration out of Panorama. By pulling that configuration out of Panorama, it then gives me the configuration of my fields all the way across that I need to fill in in order to do my bulk import, okay? This is the way to get um, kind of a bearing on what are the fields you need, what needs to be filled in, what goes where in order to do this. This is an example that I have made where I created the Boston network. I did, in fact, export that, and then I have filled in these other networks here as part of my configuration. We're looking at it here in Excel, but I have already gone through the process of making this file and getting it into my environment here so that I can do this import. Next, I want to show you some things that don't exist now that are going to get created as part of this configuration. I'm going to go up to Templates, and under Templates, I'm going to click on Network. Here, when I look at my Ike Gateways, I have my Boston Gateway. When I go up here to IPsec Tunnels, I have my Boston Remote Network IPsec Tunnel. I don't currently have tunnels for any other networks or gateways for any other remote networks. I'm going to go back over to Panorama now. I'm going to go down here to Import. When I do click on Import, note that it doesn't work. I have to select an existing remote network that I've onboarded, then the Import option lights up. I'm going to click on Import, and I've already staged a file that has the configuration information that I need. I'm going to choose it, and then click on Open. This brings me into the Remote Networking Onboarding Wizard. It's pulled in the name, the bandwidth that I've allocated, the region, the associated subnets. Anything that I might have filled out in that spreadsheet would exist here as artifacts in my Remote Network Bulk Onboarding Wizard. I'm going to click on Import. And what this is going to do is one at a time, it's going to import these lines of configuration filling in and onboarding my remote networks here. But the other thing that this has done is back over under Network and Templates, if I go to my Ike Gateways, here are all my Ike Gateways that I have just onboarded. If I go to IPsec Tunnels, my tunnel configuration is also here as well. As you can see, this makes it very easy if you have multiple remote networks or a lot of remote networks or a hundred or a thousand remote networks that you need to pull in. They've tried to make it very easy for you to do that by leveraging the ability to open up a spreadsheet associated with this. and fill this information out with whatever level of detail is appropriate for your configuration and your environment, you then really have a nice, easy way to go through the process of bulk remote network onboarding. 